The mystery flight is in India now. The one which carried over 300 Indian origin passengers to Nicaragua. It landed in Mumbai last night. 276 were on board. The other 27 remained in France. Why so? What happens to them? A lot remains unclear. There are many loose ends. Nothing seems to be adding up. And this has become a curious case with more questions than answers. But these questions, you see, need to be asked and they must be answered. The French police took two of the passengers into custody. They were suspected of human trafficking. On Monday, the two appeared before a court, but they were simply let go. They have been ordered to leave France in 48 hours. Why so? Because of a police error. That's what the reports are saying. The French authorities could not hold them any longer because they had failed to fulfill a legal requirement. You see, when detaining someone, the authorities need to clearly inform them of their rights. The French police failed to do that, so the suspects were let go. But human rights lawyers insist that the decision does not really eliminate the suspicions of trafficking. Nor does it mean that the investigation is closed. When questioned by the French prosecutors, most of the passengers insisted that they were bona fide tourists. Some even said that they did not want to go to India because they had paid for a tourism trip to Nicaragua. But not all of them claimed so. At least 25 have requested asylum in France. And this includes five unaccompanied minors out of 11. They are between the ages of 14 and 17. For the time being, they have been transferred to a special zone in Paris's Charles de Gaulle Airport for asylum seekers. But the question is, why are they seeking asylum? Did anyone persuade them to do that? And if yes, then who could that be? You see, you need to have a strong case to look for asylum in a country. Those who have been forcibly displaced or who had to flee their home country due to some threat have a right to request for asylum. So what threatened these Indians? Were they victims of human trafficking? Were the minors being sold? If yes, then who are the people who were trying to sell them? And where are their parents? Why have they not come for their children? While a lot remains unclear, the fact that minors are seeking asylum points towards people smuggling. And it will not be something new, by the way. One of the men involved in the fiasco, Shashi Kiran Reddy, has a history of human trafficking. Some reports saying that he has been running a human smuggling network for 15 years now. We told you about this last night as well. Reports say he has chartered flights from Dubai to Nicaragua more than once. Reports also claiming that in the past two months, at least eight to 10 Nicaragua bound trips have been made. What for? To smuggle 800 Indians into the US. Now, in the case of the mystery flight, prosecutors have not commented if its final destination could have been the U.S. And it's not uncommon for migrants to resort to donkey flights to jump to their dream destination. But what does raise alarm in the presence is the presence of minors without any accompanying adults. And there were 11 of them on this flight. They were held in France for four days. And we don't know if their guardians turned up. There are no reports talking about that. So what does this imply is the immediate question. Were they being smuggled? Were they tricked or forced into boarding that flight? And what would have happened if they had landed in Nicaragua without any intervention? You see, the list of questions is long and the answers, unfortunately, remain elusive. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.